Hello, this video is about how to connect your Google Sheets with my SQL database. So I assume that you already have your MySQL database, which is running on your server. So everything is set and you just want to create a connection. You need to copy this file, link will be below the video and next click connect and let's let's do it let's go to my sheet one sample i'll clear all this data delete and i you see there is an sql request here select request and i'll go to my tools and connect tools connect When I first run the script, I need to authorize it. It's a few clicks here. Go to advanced, unsafe, and allow the script to run for you. And here it is. First run is not launched. I will do it again. Connect. And I see the form set connection. It's a standard form for connecting to your database. And first is host name or IP, database, username and password. And let me fill this down. So that's it. I am done and I'll hit the submit button. And everything's all right. I see the message success, which means that uh, all my sets are correct and this Google Sheet is now connected to MySQL database and to mention security uh, only my account will have access to all this data it is very secure and uh, no one else will see my password or even my database connection and next, I have already done it. Select from information schema. There is some SQL and update active sheet. This sheet is active, and I click update and see the result. Let's see, it's time done. Time to spend time spent is three seconds. Okay, and let's see, I have this result just from my database and let's see it deeply go to script editor and see what we have here this is an engine i have connection connection takes all the data from script memory and next i have select engine here we will select some strings with this function I will show you right now. Get select as table if you like. Uh, and it takes two parameters uh, SQL, it's just string code like select, uh, asterisk from some table, so on. And you may be used to it if you done query formulas earlier in Google Sheets. And next, no headers is true or false. It is true if you want to skip headers. And next, update. Uh, it is also interesting function. Update SQL. Update my table. Set feedback equals OK. Where task ID is some task ID. Or some other updates if you want. And you also may connect your sheets vice versa. So if user uh, types something, you may use it in your Google Apps script and update your data into your my sql database i think it's very nice i use this for one year right now and uh, this script works fine and it it has this c type functions constant if i miss something uh, well uh, for my practice it is enough these data types, but if you have other data types, you need to add them. And this, it is data type, and it is 
the method to get it get long get string and so forth some technical details for you and that's it thank you